Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of On Sale Only. This time we have a Black Friday sale, so let's get started. First off, Unity started with something new, which is lightning deals. Basically, you can have as much as 90% off if you're there on time. If you're a bit too late, it will go down to 80%, then 70%. And basically for every scale, they have a certain amount of numbers. So as you can see, you know, some will say 70% off with um, so many copies left. And then in the end, um, once those lightning deals are gone, it goes to the regular 50% off. So it's something new, basically an opportunity to have even more of a discount. However, it can also mean that if you're not on time, you only have 50% instead of what we used to have before with just the regular 70% deals. So, interesting concept, let's see if it takes. Game Creator is back on sale, this time including all of the official modules and more. I've covered Game Creator in the majority of my videos, however if you're not aware, it's a high level visual scripting solution with a really nice learning curve. The modules are extensions of this and will allow you to create a complete game without needing any lines of code. We also have some of the unofficial modules on sale, like state machines, skills and UI components. I will put all of the links in the description so you can check them out. Terrain shading is one of the more creative parts of creating your scene and Microsplit is there to make it just a lot more interesting. Not only is it the best terrain shading tool out there, with all of the extensions that are in this bundle, you will be able to create incredibly cool effects like interacting with snow as you can see in Red Dead Redemption 2 for example. I would recommend this to anyone creating terrains. Obviously, you can't shade your terrain without creating some first. MapMagic 2 is my personal favorite tool for this. It's a node-based terrain creation tool that allows you to create really interesting terrains with ease. This bundle contains all of the extensions like biomes, splines and much more and will make it a lot easier to create large maps. In order to make sure that this terrain would also be performant, MapMagic 2 supports terrain streaming. Another incredibly popular terrain tool is Gaia, and we now have Gaia Pro 2021 on sale. Gaia is a completely different type of terrain tool, allowing you to use stamps to easily create complex terrains. Not only that, but Gaia Pro comes with a ton of vegetation modules included, and takes a next step by adding water, lighting, and even post-processing to your scenes. Obviously, it wouldn't be a sale without Cinti Polygon. This time we jet again pretty much their entire collection on sale. If you were lucky enough to pick up some of their lightning deals, you would have had an even bigger discount than the default 50%. Simti Polygon assets have a distinctive style that is used across all of their packs and are known for including an insane amount of content in their packs, often containing enough to create an entire game. Another asset that was part of the lightning deals was Dungeon Architect. This is an award-winning level design tool allowing for procedural level generation. This is something that is becoming more and more popular these days and is an especially amazing tool for anyone creating an online game. Definitely have a look at this one. We've looked at shaders for terrain before and the vegetation engine is there for your vegetation shading needs. It's an amazing asset to convert all of your vegetation with ease to support any type of SRP, procedural instancing, uniform shading, movement, interaction and just so much more. With ease you can change seasons, weather, and honestly I absolutely love this asset. Staying in the realm of shading, Benedict Shader is a new type of shader to replace all of your normal material shaders. Created by the same developer that did Microsplat, Benedict Shader allows for a bunch of new options. These include material layering to add a new level of detail with ease to all of your materials, as well as support for all of the amazing Microsplat features, like snow, puddles and rain, and even tracks. It supports every SRP, so I would recommend having a look at this one. Rayfire is the ultimate asset for anything related to destruction, and it might seem a bit more expensive than some of the competition, but that's for a good reason. It is definitely the definitive destruction tool on the asset store, and you can use this for pre-render destruction or even real-time destruction. Supporting many material types as well as real-time mesh slicing, which is something I use in my own game as well. This is one of those tools that feels like it should have just been native to Unity. Gravit allows you to place objects in your scene with physics support. 
making placement of props a lot more realistic. Not only that, but placing rigid body objects in the scene can often be quite painful and once you've used Gravit to do this, you realize it just should be the default in any type of project. Umotion Pro is the go-to tool to edit and create animations in Unity with ease. Often you will have really cool animation but something is off and you want to tweak it. With Umotion Pro you can easily do this. And even better, if you're entirely missing out on some animations, with the IK support it's incredibly easy to create some of your own. The learning curve is quite low, however you must be ready to spend some time with this. If, however, you want to avoid creating a lot of animations altogether and want physics to take over, Puppet Master is a great tool to support this. If you've played Cyberpunk 2077, for example, you might have noticed that some of the characters really interact with their environment. You can place some obstacles and they might even trip over these. This type of level interaction is something you can do with Puppet Master as well, and so much more. It's an amazing tool to increase the level of realism in your characters, or just the opposite and create some really fun ragdolls. Another great developer that I've hardly covered so far is Astrofish. Some of their assets are on sale right now and if you were lucky enough to pick up some of these during the flash sales your discount was even bigger. The feel of these assets remind me of Fable which obviously is a great thing and the level of detail is just absolutely amazing. If you feel that some of your favorites aren't there on sale right now, don't thread. Black Friday is going to have an additional Black Friday bump on Black Friday itself containing loads more assets that will be on sale. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.